So today we're checking out the brand new Zhiyun Crane M3, a super small and powerful gimbal that can support full frame cameras. Full disclaimer, Zhiyun did sponsor this video, but they did not give me any talking points at all. I am free to say whatever I want about this gimbal. And so I'm just gonna share my personal experience with the Crane M3 and hopefully help you decide if you should get this gimbal or not. Uh, all right, let's go ahead and talk about some fun things about the Zhiyun Crane M3. First of all, the size. The size is just really cool and I think perfect for creators on the go. People that travel, people that just wanna have a gimbal in their camera bag. This is the gimbal to get. Now with small gimbals, you might wonder, well, does this gimbal support full frame camera bodies? And the answer is yes. There is a catch though, like you can't use front heavy lenses like a Sony 16 35 G Master lens and definitely not a 24 70 G Master lens. In this instance, I actually use an APS-C lens on my A7S III. This is the, the Sigma 18 50 DC-DN lens. It's a really cool lens that's perfect for APS-C cameras like the Sony ZV-E10 or the A6600. But since we're dealing with the E-mount system, I figured let's just slap this on the A7S III. Why not? Speaking of size, the Crane M3 is so small that it could fit in literally any camera bag, whether it's a big backpack or a small backpack or even a camera messenger bag, you can easily slip the Crane M3 into whatever camera bag you have. And that to me, I think is one of the best parts about the Crane M3 because I don't like carrying gimbals around. I think they're big, I think they're clunky. Even with smaller gimbals like the Zhiyun Weeble 2, like it is compact, but it doesn't really fit in all camera bags. But with the Crane M3, like you could, you could literally put this in any camera bag you have. Another cool thing about the Crane M3 is their proprietary quick release plate system. Like for example, with my A7S III, there is a specific quick release plate for that camera. That is so helpful because one of the most annoying things about attaching your camera to gimbals is that if you need to change out batteries or take out your SD card, you gotta detach your camera from the gimbal, replace the battery or take out the SD cards and then reattach that camera to your gimbal and then try to balance it all over again, which can be very tedious and very, very annoying. But with the new quick release plate system on the Crane M3, that solves that problem, which I'm very, very thankful for. Another cool feature of the Crane M3 is this built-in LED light. That's actually a lot more useful than you think, especially for people that film live events. Like if you're filming at an event like NAB or CES or even filming a wedding, like it's a good idea to have a light attached to your whole camera setup. Oh, and there are magnetic filters that you can attach to the light as well to simulate different color gels. So yeah, pretty useful gimbal light. One of my favorite features for any type of device is the ability to quick charge. And with the Zhiyun Crane M3, you do get power delivery, quick charging, which is really, really awesome. So if you charge this gimbal for two hours, you get eight hours of gimbal use nonstop, which I think is more than enough for a lot of creators. But yeah, with the ability to quickly charge this gimbal within two hours, I think is really, really cool. And the last cool feature of the Crane M3 is this expansion base that you can attach at the bottom of the gimbal. Now the expansion base is kind of cool. There's a port where you can connect your camera to the gimbal and control the camera, but there's also this mic jack that you can connect to a shotgun mic that Zion didn't provide for me, but other creators have had this shotgun mic. And having a shotgun mic like that to use on the field, I think is pretty helpful for things like filming live events like CES or NAB. Honestly, I, I don't really see a need for this for a creator like me, I can just, do away with that. But yeah, if you wanted to use a shotgun mic on the field that's attached to your gimbal, then you could totally use the expansion base. All right, so here are my final thoughts on the Zhiyun Crane M3. I really think this gimbal is perfect for everyone, especially beginners, travel content creators, and filmmakers who film live events like trade shows, weddings, and really any type of journalism work. The reason why I say this gimbal is for everyone is because it's so easy to use and the size and weight just makes it so perfect to carry in any type of camera bag. Of course, you've got the great features that Zhiyun is known for, like the locking mechanisms on each axis to help you balance your camera on the gimbal, the joystick to move the gimbal around, you got the mode button in the back, the front 
front trigger to activate other gimbal modes. And you even have this quarter 20 thread on the side of the gimbal to attach whatever accessory you want, like a monitor, mic, or a light, even though you have this really cool light over here. And then lastly, the quick charge feature is something that I always love for any type of device. And so the fact that you can charge this gimbal real quickly just makes it super appealing for all types of creators. Now, some things that I didn't necessarily like about the gimbal, things like, you can't really attach a front heavy lens to your camera because the motors aren't that strong. I mean, the motors are strong. It can definitely support a full frame camera just as long as you're not using a front heavy lens. I don't really mind so much because I'll most likely be using my Sony ZV-1 and ZV-E10 with this gimbal anyway, but just a shame that you can't really use heavier lenses like my beloved 16 to 35 G Master lens. The second thing I wasn't really a fan of is the small touchscreen display. Now it's cool that it's touchscreen, but because it's small, you have to really, really be accurate to select certain settings in the menu. Honestly, if the screen is gonna be that small, then I'd much rather use the joystick. And so, yeah, not a big fan of the touchscreen. I think if you are gonna use a touchscreen interface, then it has to be a bigger touchscreen like on the Weeble 2. And that is a pretty cool touchscreen, but on the Crane M3, mm, not so much. And that's pretty much it. An all around a solid and compact gimbal that it has a few flaws, but again, all gimbals have their pros and cons. But in my experience using the Crane M3, I've thoroughly enjoyed it. I really love the size of this gimbal. It's definitely gonna stay in my backpack now. So yeah, I gotta figure out space for that and may even replace my Weeble too. Who knows? But yeah, those are my thoughts on the Crane M3 and uh, hopefully this video will help you decide whether you should get this gimbal or not. Huge thanks to Zeon for sponsoring this video. And if you wanna check out the Crane M3, then make sure to click the links down in the description below. But that's it for this video. Thanks for watching. Hope you have an amazing day and I'll see you in the next one.